super comfortable stretchy crop net and some silky culottes. You can't tell they're silky but they are. My studio is a mess right now. I'm really like dropping the ball here guys. Dropping the ball. So I've got my tripod but I still forgot my tripod attachment to the camera. So we're sticking with this little Sticking with this little tripod for now. I just wanted to update you on what I've done today. So I just made these uh, little cards kind of about, they're really simple but I just wanted to do like something about the upcycled packaging because really exciting. I just got my first international physical order. So I am a pretty small shop and I do get a few digital orders but physical orders are quite rare for me. So I just got my first international one which I'm going to pack and show you tomorrow morning first thing in the morning but because I use these backing cards kind of thing to keep it sturdy these are just cut up from cardboard boxes um, and these are quite easy to get because we have a local hardware store called Bunnings and they let people have their packaging for free they're kind of like they let people repurpose it which I think is amazing it's completely free and they always have quite a lot so not only is it sustainable like for the environment it's quite good but for small businesses I think that's amazing for like as a, a resource to repurpose that at like such a low cost completely free so what I wanted to do was create these little cards that kind of describe or tell the customer that it's not brand new um, backing cards that they are repurposed. The main thing is that it's super sustainable and I love that. So just going to drop this into orders, like attach it to the sheets. I'll show you how I do that. But I am also currently working on updating my thank you order cards. So this is what the old one used to look like. So it's pretty big and it's my old branding. But what I wanted to do was I really like personalized thank you cards. I know it's time consuming as you get bigger, but because I'm pretty small right now, I like being able to thank customers and write their name on it. So I kind of just updated it to do, oh, was that too bright? So I updated it to be half of this size. And what it's gonna be is just, just the empty thing with my branding at the top and my little character at the bottom. That's me in cartoon form. And I'm gonna write the message sheet. I haven't decided what I wanna put on the back of it. I think I'm just gonna leave it blank for now and maybe leave that for freebies or maybe just extend the message if I need to. Anyway, that's where I'm at now. So I'm gonna print that out and see what that looks like. I wanted to say that I don't have everything ready for orders, if you noticed, um, because I don't get orders often. Um, instead of getting everything ready and getting all my order cards and everything ready before I make how do I explain this I've been pushing myself to just ship it to get everything out there on the internet and then figure it out as it comes along if that makes sense so I didn't have international shipping down to a T like I I don't have the whole process figured out yet but I would tell myself that I would figure it out as I go so I don't have my order cards yet um, I did just get my business cards which is awesome I didn't even have those upcycled card thingies but now that the first order has come in, I'm doing it now and I'm just making sure to get that out as soon as possible. So it's kind of like a tip because I know a lot of um, other creatives watch me. Allow yourself to figure it out as you go. You don't have to have everything figured out straight away because that is pretty stressful and you know there's no such thing as perfect and you change your mind as you go anyway. So, oh, I'm not using this because I just broke it. But yeah, I'm gonna print this out and see what that looks like.
I just got back from the post office. Um, I got a lift there. It's about 20 minutes away. I think a 15 to 20 minute walk. So it's not super far, but it's not really that close either. But I did walk on the way back and it was really nice actually. It was really sunny outside. So I just shipped that order. So thank you, Rosa. I hope it arrives by the time you see this. Thank you so much for my first sticker order, my first official physical international sticker order. <laughs> I was going to listen to some podcasts or music while I was walking, but I thought I would just go completely offline and just walk and enjoy the sun and enjoy the walk back. It was quite good actually. I walk at a pretty fast pace, so I'm sweating a little bit, but it was nice. It was a nice walk. Sometimes it's good to just unplug from, you know, electronics, from just always checking in with things. And just being alone with your thoughts, I think that's pretty important. And I don't get as much opportunity to do it now because I'm never really alone. for a while that I hadn't cut it yet so I just did it and I it just cut straight through well I don't know what's happening it's never done this before uh, I mean they look kind of cute like this don't they the colors look cute but what happened it just peeled off it kind of shocked me a little I actually forgot to Is that over there? I actually forgot to say that I am not going to use the new sticker paper after all that, after how excited I was to get that new sticker paper and printing it all out and updating all those stickers. I'm not going to use it because I think I mentioned that they were turning yellow. I left for the weekend when I came back. I was looking at the offcuts and I was looking at some of the stickers that I had just lying around. So I had packed most of them, but then the ones that were lying around were turning yellow and, um, Obviously not meant to be turning yellow. Um, and then I looked at the ones in the packets and I should actually show you. So these are like the off cuts and you can see how yellow that turned. It's kind of weird. It's just where the ink is. Um, and even the ones that are packaged have gone yellow around the edges, which is just looks terrible. And it doesn't really affect the stickers, but sometimes it does go yellow around here as well. I did contact the seller. Um, I sent him a message straight away and asked him about the yellow paper. And I said, is there a way to stop it from happening? I wasn't going to request a refund straight away because, um, I don't know, like maybe it was just my paper that was faulty or maybe it was a common problem. I just wanted to see what it said. But he did reply straight away saying that he would... Um, give a refund if it's not usable and that if left in a bright place the stickers turn yellow but my studio is not that bright and um, like a bunch of the offcuts were just sitting over there in the dark so it was turning yellow anyway so it was kind of like it was just being exposed to air and turning yellow I don't know how it works so I basically said I can't really sell it because I can't control what the customer does with it and I don't want it to turn yellow once I've shipped it out so I did ask for a refund um which would be awesome if I can get that. I kind of just assumed it was a sunk cost and that was my bad, but I guess he didn't, it wasn't really listed in the product description. This is so, this is so weird. This kind of makes me laugh. It's like so cleanly cut. 
it's kind of weird. The cricket cut really perfectly this morning and maybe it is the light. I don't know. So these turned out fine, but who knows? They might turn out yellow <laughs> soon. So I'm going to maybe print them out on the old paper because I still have quite a bit of the old paper as well. Yeah, and I wanted to print the dot stickers on the old paper anyway because the colors just turned out nicer. Yeah, you know what? The old paper, I never had issues with the color. So that was always the easiest one to work with. I've been using up a lot of ink recently. I'm going to print some more stickers out. But what I wanted to do, I just remembered, I was in bed doing this last night. I wanted to work on a income expenses uh, like spreadsheet for GoodNotes because I have a Google Sheets one, but I get really lazy opening it up and it's kind of just fun writing it in GoodNotes anyway, just like writing it down. So what I wanted to do was create kind of an interactive notebook where you have the tabs on the side. There's heaps on good notes. There's some really, really pretty ones. But I wanted to make one where it's just income and expenses and you have like a table for each. And you can add as many pages as you want. How will this work? Maybe like a monthly one. I kind of have a printable, like a really, really basic printable that does the same thing. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is monthly spreadsheets, undated monthly spreadsheets, and then have a monthly summary page as well with like interactive tabs because I really need that. That's why, that's why I'm making it. I really want something like that. I'll try to work on that while I'm doing it. I haven't really made an interactive thing before. I know that you're supposed to use Keynote. That's what I've heard. Well, I've looked up some tutorials and that's the easiest thing to use. Still getting the hang of it, so I'll bring you along and show you what I do. It is 1.15 now, by the way. I've just had lunch. I had a little bit of an early lunch. I didn't have coffee, so I am feeling good. And I'm just gonna boil some water now, actually. Because I'm thirsty and I only drink hot water, usually. <laughs> I always seem to have pretty bad luck with my printer. So it's starting to print out like this when I've had no issues before. Um, and then if you look closely, you can still see that it's streaky. And then I tried again, but I changed the paper setting this time. A little bit better, but still streaky. I don't think you can really see it on camera. So I tried to look it up because I think the streaking, I thought it was like an ink issue, but I have like full ink. So I ran a, um, I just did all the tests really. I ran a nozzle check and actually I did a print head alignment first. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know if it makes a difference. I did it anyway. <laughs> and then I ran a nozzle check and it came out like this. Which apparently means my uh, print head is clogged. So I cleaned it and then I did another nozzle check and came out like this. So that's a lot better. I don't know why there's a gap in the yellow one now because there wasn't before. Um, but I'm going to leave that. I'm pretty happy. I didn't even think it would make a difference because these things never really make a difference. But I'm going to try to print that again. And see what that looks like. It is now 5.30. I've had a semi-productive day. Oh, I haven't showed you, but I was working on the uh, template. So I just have January at the top and just in lowercase. I just wanted to keep it really simple. I have key here because I was thinking um, that might be a good way to categorize like certain items like uh, into shopping or business. I don't know. That's going to be flexible, so I feel like I might put create little dot stickers that come with this, or just the existing ones. I'm not sure yet, but I want to leave that open for people in case they want to add their own little key there, make their own. So that's what I've got so far, and then I'm going to create January to December kind of version. So I'm not, I'm not going to list it today because I do want to test it out, and there's still more pages I want to make. Um... I don't mind too much when things go wrong. It's kind of just not knowing why and not knowing how to fix it is super frustrating because I feel like you waste so much time doing that. But I'm going to try to print those stickers out again. <laughs> I'm wasting so much paper and ink. It kills me. But I think every sticker shop owner will tell you that 
this always happens. <laughs> I'm a tech person as well, like I love technology and I, I don't really struggle with that stuff, but this is just, I don't know what's happening with my printer. Maybe it's me. <laughs> Maybe it's not my printer this whole time. Maybe it's just like something weird that I'm doing. Anyway, I'm leaving in about an hour, so I wanna try to get as much done as I can. What do you think, guys? Do you think it worked? All right, let's do it together. Oh no. I printed it on normal paper. <laughs> I forgot to load it. Hey, it looks good though. I always forget to load the tray because I do it one at a time. Maybe I should preload it. I don't know. I don't feel comfortable leaving all that sticker paper in the tray. Leaving it exposed like that. Ugh. Okay. We try again. All right, fifth try. I think we, I can't see because I'm looking through the camera. It is perfect. Perfect. So I'm going to cut those and then I'm going to keep working on that budget planner, which is what I'm going to call it. Uh, I'm going to ban myself from working on stickers at night because the cricket never seems to behave at night. So sticking to making stickers in the morning. Can you see it? You can't see anything, can you? This is where I'm at right now. I've got the tabs in. So I just created rectangle boxes, uh, rectangle boxes, rectangle. <laughs> I created rectangles and just made the uh, corners curved. So they look like little tabs and just duplicated it all the way. That was pretty tedious, but now I've just put the months in. I'm not sure if this is what the final look is like. I'm pretty happy with it already. I left a room for two extra tabs. I'm not sure yet. Probably just a, a contents and a key or like a yearly thing. I'm not sure. I'm leaving that blank for now, but um, one thing I want to do, which is going to be super time consuming, but I want to make it so that what page you're on has the tab at the front, if that makes sense. So this tab right now is the furthest at the front compared to all of these. Um, and it's on December, so when it's on the November page, I want to move that forward in October and I just got to do that one by one. I'm going to do that until I go crazy. <laughs> I actually forgot my laptop, so I'm going to have to walk home about 15 minutes, 10 minutes to go get it. It is so noisy today, sorry. There's construction going on right outside my door. It's been like that all morning, so I don't know what's happening. Um, so I've been working on the budget planner and I'm really liking the way it is turning out. It is coming together. So I've got the contents page. It's a bit hard to see. So I'm using InDesign and the idea is that, I'll show you what it looks like on the iPad as well. The idea is that these are all clickable links and it'll take you to these tabs. I mean, clicking on these tabs will also take you there, but I was thinking that within each tab it has an overview page and then an income and expenses page. So I've only done the income and expenses page, which you saw was the debit and credits. It's really having a hard time focusing, isn't it? Maybe it's too bright. I haven't done the overview page yet. I think that'll take some time. But I also added a section for stickers. I was going to include some stickers as well, like the dot circle stickers and the icons, but I just wanted to keep it simple and let people use the stickers that they want. I don't want to like, because if I added stickers, I'd have to increase the price, right? So I wanted to give them the flexibility of if you wanted, you could bundle it. But then ideally, this is where you keep the stickers that you use for this budget planner, or I don't know, just like a little sticker book, but then you use it for the key as well. So the idea was that you could have the dot circle stickers and each color represents a different category like like rent or shopping or lunch, food, whatever. I hope that makes sense though. Like this makes sense to me. I might need to do like an example page and then upload that to Etsy as well. So what I'm doing now is creating, um, yeah, making it harder for myself. I'm shading it if it's on this page as well. So I need to go through each of the month pages and add that shading and export that and then I'm going to work on the overview page so I'm thinking the overview page will have your goals and also your so it's something you check in at the beginning of the month and also review at the end of the month to see like how well you stuck to your budget or, or how much you actually spent money is a pretty complex topic I love talking about money 
Uh, I love learning about money. I love watching like finance vlogs, like finance videos and things like that. Cause I want to educate myself on like the best way to save, the best way to like budget. And I don't know, I just find it really, really interesting. I guess it's just another form of like organization. So I've always had a really bad relationship with money. I've never known how to keep it. Um, I've never known how to save for something bigger. I would always just spend what I have, just live paycheck to paycheck, like literally zero savings. Um, but even though now I'm earning a lot less than I was when I first started working, at the very beginning, I'm earning 10% of, like when I first started working, I'm now making 10% out of that. So I was earning in the thousands before, very, very low thousands. Um, and now I'm in the hundreds. That's how much I earn a month, which is not much, but it is enough for me to keep doing what I love and pay the bills and all that. Yeah, I don't want to give you the specific numbers because I'm still a little embarrassed, but I do want to tell you like the ballpark amount. So that's why I find budgeting really, really important for me because every dollar really does matter for me. I need to know that where I'm putting it is kind of the most efficient, the most optimized. So that was a bit of a tangent, but that's why I really love um, finance organizer things. And I think this budget plan is really important for me because I really want to get on top of, because I don't even know how much I made last month from orders. I have absolutely no idea. Like I haven't added it up and that's kind of, the not knowing part, I think, is what's dangerous with money. You need to know exactly what's going in and out so that you can make better decisions. It's just making more informed decisions. What was I talking about? How did I even get on this topic? I think I was explaining why I'm making this in the first place. I am really passionate about being financially savvy, understanding what you're doing with your money. Anyway, I've already said that. So what I'm going to do now is finish doing all the tabs. I'm calling them like little spotlight tabs. So if it's on this page, this tab will be shaded. So I need to do it for all of these. It sounds simple, but I have to change the heading. I have to swap out the headings, make sure it's the right month. And then I have to move the tab so that it's in front. And then I have to change the color to a darker one. But I need to put that on another layer so that I can hide that color when I do the next tab. It's just tedious, but I like this part too. <laughs> I've just finished exporting all of those pages um, and if you can see yeah there's a whole lot there um, so that's I did ended up doing one page for the overview and one that's just a blank page I'm thinking of making widget stickers so that you can customize your own overview page this I always do this when I start a new product idea I started off really simple and then I just get really excited and just like get more and more complicated but I think this will be awesome I'm really excited about this so I might 
leave it at that. I think that's it. I think I, uh, so I still need to make those widget stickers, but the pages are pretty much done. I'm not going to go too crazy on the widget stickers. I just want it to have like, uh, some other options. Like, uh, if you use a credit card, school bell, uh, if you have a credit card to show like your amount owing, and then, like, if you've paid it or not, I think just a really simple, like, uh, widget for that. And then just some blank widgets if you want to customize it. Um, I have other ideas for some widgets, but I might make that a separate pack. Otherwise, this will get complicated. So I might do uh, a category for just, uh, like, a set, sorry, for just savings ones. And do, like, little saving widgets and things that you can shade in and... Like to show your progress and things like that. I don't know. I'm just gonna. I can always add it on later. So my the thing with my digital products is that Etsy doesn't let you send updates easily to customers. Once they've downloaded the product, you can't just change the file in the product page and then they can re-download it. It doesn't really work like that. Um, but I do want customers to be able to download any updates that I do have. I think that's pretty fair if they've paid for the. Um, just my opinion, if they've paid for the product, I think they're entitled to future updates. So I'm just going to upload uh, what I have now with some widget stickers and in the future and I can always update it and whoever's purchased it before will have access to that so that's not a big deal. This is my favourite part about working on new products because I get so inspired to um, make other products that are like related. It just once I start on one thing, I can kind of see where that goes. I'm not explaining this properly. So because of this um, idea of doing like the build your own kind of page, I'm thinking like, oh, I can do like a savings like widget thing only and like a business widget and and then who knows, I might do like a non-finance planner where you build your own daily and weekly planner to like suit. But you know what I mean? I, I really like the widget idea because it reminds me of like, technology where you're customizing your like home screen and things like that so I think that's really cool. It is now 1.14 and I'm gonna get some lunch because I'm a little shaky. I get a little shaky when I uh, when I'm really hungry so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make some lunch and then come back and I don't know if I'm gonna keep working on it because I have some other to do's to take care of that have kind of been on the backlog for a while so I want to focus so the little notes listing I did get it oh I call it little sticky notes now but I did get it up on Etsy but I need to update it on Squarespace otherwise it'll never get done um, I have some photos to sort through oh yeah I have to keep printing out um, this because I tried it last night and it was cutting all weird so I want to do that uh, I have some photos to download and an Instagram post to do oh we got bright Okay, so I'm going to make some lunch, take care of that to-do list, give some attention to that, and get back to my, my budget planner. I don't know if I should call it a budget planner or a finance planner. I think it's more of a finance planner now. So I just printed out the uh, self-care labels again, and look at that. Same thing as yesterday, but perfect lines. So I really do think it's because of the lack of light sometimes, like amongst other things. Um, I guess it's a lot brighter there, I don't even know. So this is perfect, but I kind of forgot to add a bleed to it. So I think I mentioned in an older video, maybe last week's one, that I couldn't figure out why it wasn't uh, adding a bleed. And I figured it out, let me show you. So in Cricut, if you have a background, it doesn't add a bleed to the image on the inside because it thinks it's just cutting around the outside. So I haven't tried it yet, but I think I'm gonna print it out without the labels. Print it out like that, and then print it out without the backing sheet. The problem is, is just making sure it's positioned exactly where it should be. Uh, but the colors are perfect, and we're back to that original stick of paper. Hey guys, it is 
<clears throat> my voice is broke. Hey guys, it is six. It's just a little bit after six. I ended up changing the whole, uh, oops. I ended up changing the whole contents page. I kind of just got rid of it. I decided I didn't really like it. The contents page looks like that. And I had, um, I was gonna have a hyperlink to all of these and then a place for your stickers and then a key so you could write your own thing. And then I really, I, ugh, I really wanted a page for those widgets I created, but I didn't want to have to make a new um, tab. And at first I just had like, click here for the widgets. And then I was like, that looks ugly. I don't like it. I'm getting rid of it. So I ended up just replacing it with just the widgets page. So now this uh, menu is going to be just the widgets page. So these are the ones that I have. So this is on the default one. This isn't, so if you didn't like all the other stuff, you could just have just the monthly income, monthly expenses. Okay, so income, that's the same one that's on the default. Key is different, so you can customize it uh, with your own key. So you can add in your own like dot sticker or like highlighter color, a pen color or something. And then the credit card one here, credit card balance due paid. So I have two pages. Uh, and this is just like a blank one of the recurring one in case you wanted to do like a checklist. And I added an upcoming bills one. So I have upcoming bills, amount, and then when it's due, another like checklist thing. Uh, and then I did decide, and that's the expenses one that's on the default. And I did decide to add the savings. I know I said I'd create it like a separate one, but I think it's pretty, it's pretty helpful. So I just created two basic ones. Oh no, you don't know the amounts. Hmm, okay. Because these are just percentages, but I mean, you need to define what your actual goal is, right? So <laughs> I need to rethink this. Okay, so I've got to work on that. But I've basically finished everything else. And right now on the computer, I am dragging each of the documents into a PDF because I did export them separately. So there's three pages for each month. The first one is the default overview page. And these aren't widgets. These are just kind of baked in. Uh, and then the debit credit sheet. Just like the running log of your expenses that month and the blank one if you wanted to create your own uh, widget page or you wanted to um, just write notes it's pretty flexible so I am currently up to May and I've got to drag in the rest so once I finish this I'm just gonna finish adding in all the documents I'm gonna fix that stick uh, the savings goal tracker widget and then I'm gonna have to re-export all this in white I might not have time today I did make some good progress on the to-do list. I did finish the little notes thing and I definitely worked a lot on this. I downloaded quite a bit of photos and... Oh, I did do the self-care label stickers. But then I didn't get around to doing the bleed part today because my printer was being really slow because I am downloading photos. I had no idea the Wi-Fi would affect it that much, but apparently it does. I'm not going to be in tomorrow and I probably won't be filming anything because I have a meeting catch-up in the morning and then I'm just going to stay in the city until date night and then come home. But I will be working on the finance planner so I'll probably just leave that for now because I can just easily do that on my laptop while I'm out. And I'll take advantage of the Wi-Fi now and work through downloading the photos and sorting that out so I can get an Instagram post up for my personal Instagram. So kind of calling it a day here for uh, the studio vlog but I'll still be working until 7 because Kevin doesn't get back until 7 it is currently 6 20 yeah I'm really out of breath holding this camera <laughs> okay so I'll see you guys on Friday